guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting rain to episode one of Bochy the Rock. So yeah, y'all probably wasn't expecting me to react to this show. I, I mean, if you know me, cute girls and cute things, yes, we're gonna do it. And this time, it is once again playing instruments. Um, funny enough, like, I this was one of those shows that I was going to, um, I was uh, first going to react to. I was already on my list of doing it. I didn't know what day it was coming out. Then while I was talking to my girlfriends, found out it came out. And I was like, I really want to watch this. I need to watch this. Um, and I said, I'm going to probably drop a show. Well, in the end, I did drop a show. So the show that was coming out on Fridays, that's completely gone. And now and it got replaced with this. Funny enough, um, these girls were referenced in Slow Loop in episode 10. And it, it must have, and I'm... Either I wasn't paying attention and such, or I was watching it and I was so deep into the episode that it must have flown by and such. Never would have thought, but of course, because this is a manga time Kira series and it's by those people, and of course, these girls are going to be in the Kira um, fantasy game eventually a couple of months later. This is also the hint, hint, nudge, nudge to me saying, DJ, go ahead and get back into that damn game. Even with the fact that one minute the servers are like, yes, you can play, and then no, you can't play. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. Oh, I didn't even say go. I just went, ooh. <laughs> 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 I didn't say go. I'm sorry. All right, all right. Start over, start over. We're starting over. All right. <laughs> okay. In three, two, one, go. But still, she is so cute. Look at her. Nothing but friends, no friends. Hmm? All right, nice voice, Jesus. Deja. <laughs> oh. Mm. There you go. <laughs> Three year girl. Yeah. 
damn. Oh. I already love her. She's adorable. Okay, hell, she gives me hella big. Big, big, big Kasumi vibes. You know, hey, Bundity. <laughs> hell yeah, I already knew this was going to give me Bundity vibes because of someone who loves the shit out of Bundity and how that is a series that, once again, is near and dear to my heart. Not only to um, how I watch that and then the connection slash friendship that I made with someone on it um of course yeah like look at her oh ah, but she she doesn't she reminds me more she she does give the kasumi vibes right but at the same time she kind of gives me hella kanon vibes from a live superstar where she she's not like the typical oh let me be happy go lucky as like yeah she got you know issues just as much as like the rest of us so she might be like one of those like damn, I might have to, like, you know, really feel for her and, honest to God, relate to her more than, like, always having, yes, the cutesy one who's always happy-go-lucky and never is sad, you know? Honika. God, this is going to be really funny editing this video. <laughs> mm. And yeah, hell yeah. She also gives me feels towards like Hitori Bochi. Girl, oh my god. Hitori Bochi was so good. <laughs> Yep, upload that cover. Because you never know who's going to find you. <laughs> Yay! Hmm. Hell right there. She looks like the main character from Asteroid in Love. <laughs> I mean, hey, shouldn't you possibly also dress the part, too? Oh, poor baby. Literally regretting. Why did I dress like this? <laughs> no, 
no, no, no. Remember, you're just shy at the same time. You know, I think people already have established friendships. <laughs> like, see, there's one. Mm hmm. Yeah, but I don't know about him. Oh, never mind. Aww. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> That's a goal. Use your words. Oh, damn, baby. She kind of sounds like Nijin no Yume. <laughs> that or she she's giving me hella vibes to someone from Pretty Cure. Hello wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Would it be funny if it's freaking Cure Precious? Because <laughs> she gives me Hello Yui vibes. Oh. <laughs> Say no. Say no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh don't smell her like that girl no 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 Cause you're nervous. <laughs> ah, so you all you're always the one that they pick out last and He told you it's going to be fine. I mean, yeah, you thought it was going to be cutesy and light ish, babe? Well, I mean, you're only seeing typical girls. Now, if you see someone like, you know, Rosalia. Oh, I like her hair. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, um, Raises Stillin, Popping Party. I'm literally giving you guys bandari ish so. <laughs> <laughs> or, um, uh, Morphonica.
You got this, babe. But because she doesn't have the greatest social skills, you know. Oh, baby. <sighs> oh, her. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh, my God. You know, just leave me alone. Let me crawl into the hole. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Me. Yeah, you're different and you're special. Yeah, but I don't think you guys want to continuously be like a cover band. I mean, hey, it's cool to pay cover songs, which is not wrong with that, but you do want to branch out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn. Funny enough, you're playing with her right now. It's going to be funny if they find out by the end of the series that she's... <laughs> But you got fans. And your fans are now technically your friends. Oh, hey, Dottie. Oh, she's just saying, hey! He, he it's okay, you got this. Oh, my God.
<laughs> yeah. Guitar Hero. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bochi. Come on, Bochi, you got a baby. Good, that's progress, baby. <laughs> and there she goes. Just one take time, baby. Uh oh. Okay. It's already fucking cute. I fucking love it. I love the fact that, you know, hey, I mean, because you already knew I was going to love this. Like I said, Bundry. Freaking Bundry. Freaking K on. You already knew. All of y'all knew. If you know me, like I said, the cute girls doing cute things thing is always a big freaking weakness. Because you know, hey, duh. But because I'm also someone who loves bands in a nutshell and love rock music and, and shit like that. Like, yes, duh. But like, yeah, it gives me hella vibes of Bundy. Except really, like, if Bundy and the show He Told You Bochi had a child today uh, together, it's this. It is literally this. It's adorable. It's cute. I, the ending. Oh my god. I love it. It's so fucking colorful. But Bochi. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't with her. She's fucking adorable. And I love the fact that she's shy. And she's like, her, her social anxiety is just like, I'm freaking out. I don't know how to say. I don't know how to speak to people. And such, like, bruh, like, oh, she's gonna be so freaking relatable. Like, literally, this is just, every single week, it's literally just going to be me talking somewhat about, like, I'm going to mention Bandari every single week in this. So, you know, hey, if you end up playing or watching Bang Dream slash Bandari, you know, hey, you're, you're welcome. That's all. Like, straight up. And then if you end up seeing my favorite band, Rosalia, and if you end up liking Rosalia, too, you're welcome. Because, like, oh. 
I, I mean, because seriously, I, you know, for their first song that they were going to perform together, I was expecting, like, I am kind of expecting this show to maybe do quote-unquote hint, hints of cover songs, whether it's them actually singing it or playing something, because, once again, Bandere. Um, with that game and in that series and such, very similar to D4DJ, it, like, hella wouldn't even surprise me if, like, we, with the Maga Time Kira series, like, they end up doing a show about DJs. I mean, they're doing stuff about bands now, so, you know, and because it's gone for, if we're looking at Bushimo and what they've done from Love Live up till now and their recent new hottest thing is DJing and such, I don't even know where the hell they could go next after that, like, seriously. Um... It could pretty much be anything, but <laughs> yes, I really love this. Like, damn, I don't know if it, like, okay, th this is like number one for me. Even though this is the first episode of the show, this is number one. It's number one. Despite everything else that all is coming out, even with Two Year Eternity coming out at the end of the month, even though I know I'm going to forget that again, and I'm, even though I'm reminding myself right now. DJ T or Eternity at the end of the month. Still, I'm probably going to forget. But, like, yeah, I think this is going to be number one for me and such. I will definitely get attached to these girls really, really fast because I know myself. But I love it. It's it's good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Adorable as fuck. I cannot wait to see what the hell is going to happen in these episodes and what these girls are going to get into. Plus seeing how far Bochi can get with her social anxiety um, of course, she also gives feels to any other type of anime girl, guy, whoever, who deals with that. So, you know, Komi, because Komi is the biggest one that I can immediately think of. Hitoribochi herself from, you know, the Hitoribochi series. I will also recommend that. That was a really interesting watch, too, <laughs> to see. Um, but yeah, like, it's adorable as fuck. That's all I'm going to say about that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of Bochi the Rock. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single I join the Master Squad. And of course, okay, as I said in my previous video, because of the fact is that I will be gone this weekend coming up. I will be on vacation and I am leaving my, you know, whole setup at home because I don't want to lug it with me back and forth. Um, everything will be coming out either between Monday afternoon to Tuesday night, morning, whatever, because I won't get home until like Monday morning, Monday afternoon after my vacation and, and I'm off for one more day to get everything done. So just for this weekend, you will see me the following Monday, um, the day before my birthday for episode two. And then you will see me later in the week for the weekend for episode three. So just in case anybody gets confused, because don't worry when Friday comes or when Thursday comes of this week, I will have something out so that everybody will know because I don't need anybody being like, hey, Deja, <laughs> where's this <laughs> and such. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.